So we're requeening hives. And as you can see, it's pretty crazy. This is uh, kind of like a typical day at the bee yard in this yard because of how mean all the bees are. So we've got a few done already. We were able to find the queens. And um, I decided to just go right in and try to find the queen first. And then if I couldn't, then come up with plan B or C. But so far, we've been pretty successful finding queens. It's just taken a long time. So right now, Pretty sure this is the one we were in last time. I made a short, but they're queen right. They have eggs, so this is not a queen colony. This is a queen right colony, and they're just they're all over us. They're stinging the gloves. We're, what we're doing is, as we're going through, we're having to. You can see stingers all in my gloves, just all through here. And we're having to go through, scrape stingers off, smoke our hands, mask the pheromone so more and more bees don't keep stinging. Long to make it impossible to work. But there's, these gloves are just littered with stingers, and I'm very thankful they're thick enough that I haven't been stung through them yet, thank God. But who knows, I might take one through the gloves. I'm trying to use minimal smoke on them so that they don't bite the queen, like if I smoke the crap out of them. And it doesn't help much anyway with their feistiness. They're so pissy. This is what it's like working Africanized bees. Plenty of honey, but at what cost? I mean, it's just not worth it to me. I mean, these are they're healthy. I'll get out of here. Huge population, putting away lots of stores, putting away a lot of nectar. And it doesn't matter how gentle you are, how rough you are. They're just going deep. Well, I wanted to tell you I found the queen on this frame, but I didn't. So we're going to keep looking for the queen and we'll follow up when we're done with these hives. But here's a little taste of what our day is like. <laughs>